Let's get these all straighter. I got it. Yeah. All right. So this is my son, my oldest son, Brandon. Um, Howdy. Yeah, and we're just gonna talk. We talk, you know, he's facilitated a ton of my healing, just allowing me to to talk and, and be comfortable creating that safe space for me to be able to um, get things out of me that, you know, have been stuck in me since I was young. And and um, so, yeah, so we just figured, you know, maybe together we can um, maybe help some more or uh, assist other people, like, because I come across in my own way, maybe you can come across in a different way. Yeah, I'm excited to finally be sitting here making a video with my dad. You know, we planned on doing this about two years ago, but on a whole different level. And now we're here where we're at now, which has me questioning, you know, what brought you about making these boards? What sparked these ideas in you? Mm, well, they've always been there. You know, it's just, this is how my mind processes things automatically, you know? And I, I'm guessing that neurodivergency if we got to put a name to it just means you think different than other people um i think this is you know and, and then they try to classify us as as having mental disorders but it's just our brain is processing through a very fine screen well like you i love how you put it you say it's a natural biological mm. reaction mm. to an unnatural society environment and that's exactly what it is Yes. Yeah, so yes, that's a good point because that means that all of us are doing this. All of us, you know, sh our mental capacity should be functioning in this manner. Um, and it's just that through, after being bored and through all the toxins and through all the, the abuse that a lot of people are unable to hold on to that connection. And they've, you know, they're, they're completely, you know, it's out of fear it makes people do that shit, you know? You just see it in society now. We have all these diseases that kids are now getting, whereas back when you were a kid, you know, those diseases didn't come about until you reach like age 60, age 80. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting them before we even come out of the womb. And so it's a lot of inorganic things happening with our bodies and yeah, and that just shows how toxic the society is. You know, we have all these wars on drugs, wars on cancer, wars on just about everything, and nothing's gotten better. Even with the millions of dollars that's pumped into these wars on fighting addictions and such, they've just gotten worse over the years. And you see it, the society, if they really wanted us, our health better, if they really wanted our minds and souls to express themselves fully, they would be they would be pumping out truth, fact, and reality, but they don't. They pump out illusions and um, yeah, mass manipulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, confusion. So, so you've talked about on your last video how we come back into how we deprogram our mind. Mm. Um, which I really like how you come about that. This board makes everything so much more clear, bringing it, bringing it back down to the terms and what we're actually saying and the meanings to them mm -hmm. as that gives it power. And so this has helped me greatly in my own understanding. I, I've dealt with confusion for the past 24 years, um, even being on the spiritual journey for the past four or five years, but it wasn't until this past weekend when I saw this board and it just, clicked it totally knocked that confusion out of my mind mm -hmm. out of my being and it made me remember who i am and what i am and where i am <laughs> and yeah so i feel i feel a lot of ease in my body now uh and i feel like i can go about things much more clear mm -hmm. now knowing now coming back to the reasoning you know of reasoning from truth fact and reality basing my decisions from truth fact and reality is this coming from my ego is this coming from my programming or is it coming am i thinking this deciding this through hmm. what is actually 
right, you know, uh, trying to get away from all the superfluous things, thoughts, and ideas. Yeah, and and that's, you know, I had to get it, so I had my brain injury, and like, I thought I was going to die. Last year, I wanted to die, you know, I didn't want to be fucking alive, because I was, just, I was just too much, you know, but I, I had that thing hanging on me of, you know, I brought three other slaves into this world and I got to fucking try to at least, you know, at least shine some kind of, you right there. Yeah. so yeah, you know, my, you know, my dad bringing me into this slave system, I didn't see it as a problem. You know, I, I've always stuck up for my dad, always looked at him as my highest role model, just, Stockholm just, just the man. Yeah. And it literally that Stockholm syndrome, because you know, all he taught me was how to be the best slave in this system. And, and plus all the other things that happened in my childhood. And, but I always, I always held him on a high standard. You know, I always said, if my dad dies, I'm gonna kill myself. And, but now I'm seeing, uh, kind of went off. Um, why did I ask that? Well, you pulled me off the pedestal, thankfully, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I realized, you know, my dad's not a saint. I mean, he had good intentions this whole the whole time raising me. He thought he was doing the right thing, this and that. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, no longer idolizing my dad. I mean, I still see him. This man feels like a guru to me when he comes out with this stuff because it's just, but it's not that he's teaching me. He's just reminding me, you know, because it, it just, I him just showing me this once it just clicked it wasn't like i had to sit here and study and study and study it was just it made sense right off the bat it makes when we can break it down to how the mind actually operates and how it becomes controlled and mm -hmm. how we can work with it like that that's yeah. a way to come about with um i was about to say helping people but just uh reminding people and helping them understand on how they've been duped into this toxicity, how they've been duped into the Stockholm syndrome. Mm -hmm. And, um, and we, you can show them how your mind works and how you're supposed to be operating versus where you are operating at the moment. It just makes everything so much more clear rather than getting into all the conspiracy theories, right? Right. There, rather than talking about how corrupt the government is through nine 11, through all these events, you know, instead of talking about that, instead of talking about all these health modalities, on the spiritual path, we just get straight to, well, how does the mind work? How does the body respond to the mind? Where, do, who, who are we in our natural state? And yeah, that really, when you break it down to that, it makes everything so much more simpler, you know? Yeah, so well, so my whole life, you know, this is the filter my shit's been going through now, but because I never had, like, it, it wasn't, I, it, I'm not special. I didn't work on, on my mind being able to do this, you know? Mm -hmm. It was just, I knew this is how it's always been, you know? And I think that's what we all have, we're just remembering. And in order to remember, like you said, we gotta get rid of all the superfluous bullshit. You know, all the narratives, all the expectations, all the mm -hmm. lack, desire, all that shit, and just realize the power that we have, you know? Because as soon as you ground yourself back in truth, fact, and reality, you will, because we have so many fucking splits with mm -hmm. cognitive dis dissonance to be able to deal with all this, this superfluous shit that they put on us. Mm -hmm. When you get back to true fact and reality, you will, if you sit with that yourself, you will actually start arguing with yourself. Mm -hmm. You have arguments with you. You start yeah. to feel like you're going crazy, and, mm -hmm. but it's not. What you're doing is you're clearing cognitive dissonance, mm -hmm. you know? And, and you have to argue. You have to have those mad conversations. You have to do that, you know, mm -hmm. to work your way through it. And you, you have know? to do it with complete honesty, you know, because we want to hold on to these mm -hmm. superfluous things because we've been taught that that makes us comfortable, that gives us the love feeling, that gives us that good mm -hmm. feeling, you know. So, which comes from Stockholm. That's Stockholm syndrome, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, but this food, it, I love this food. I you know, but do you really love this food? Do you really love this entertainment? Or were you taught to love this yes. food? Were you yes. taught to love this entertainment? Mm -hmm. You know, what does your being naturally crave for? 
Wood, and what are, and I'll stop you right there real quick. And that's why I think it's lust, not love. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, yeah, the so, difference with yeah, those like too. just the people, the the fact that people throw that love word around mm -hmm. all the time. So, I love my car. I love my fucking. You know, it's like, oh my god, yeah. you're attaching yourself to that shit, man, big time. Mm -hmm. You're putting that. You now worship that. You know, you. So how do we? How how do you? How did you become aware of your soul? You know. Oh, yeah. my soul's always been there. Mm -hmm. That my soul's the motherfucker that holds his been holding his face. But for up someone there, who's but... just so programmed and like just so stuck into the system, like mm -hmm. how do you make them aware of their soul? Like what? You got to get rid of the authorities. You got to mm -hmm. quit worshiping. Mm -hmm. So, so now we're getting into detachment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Now we're getting into detachment. So, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe we'll um we'll stop this and do another video.